Today on 3D Outdoors, we're doing a 2020 roundup on our metal detecting finds. Stay tuned. All right, 2020. Wow. What are your. Yeah, for sure. And, and not in the good way either. <laughs> Last year we were like, what a year, this is great, and knocked it out of the park. And as I'm sure all of you are aware, 2020 has been a rough year for everyone and it affects everything that we do. Whether it be our get-togethers, or our, our fishing trips, or our metal detecting adventures, it's, it's all impacted by what's going on right now. So hopefully in 2021 things will get back to some kind of normalcy, we hope. I hope so. So, uh, but we're gonna run through, we did find some interesting things this year, not as many as obviously we did last year. Um, we're putting together our goals for next year right now, and the big question is, do we adjust them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I haven't made up my mind yet. Um, I thought the goals that we had in place for this year were pretty spot on to start with, and, and like we said, the, the year kind of went from there. <laughs> So, uh, and we had one really good property and without that one, it'd be pretty sad. Yep. So uh, I'm gonna fire up the other camera here. Uh, we'll start over on Poppy's side of the, the table here and then we'll come over on the side on mine over here. Set my little score sheet back here. And uh, I'll get the other camera fired up. And I don't know if you wanna run through what you got there this year, Poppy, where you wanna start at. Okay. Indian heads, 1884, 1887, 1890, 1892, 1895, 1898, 1901, another 1901, actually that one was 1900 I guess. Got four buffalo nickels. 17D, 27D, 29S, and a 36. Got onto some uh, war nickels. All one, came from one yard actually. 44P, 43D, and a, another 43P, or 43P. Mercury dimes, 1919 s 1924, 1936D, and a 44S. Two silver Washington quarters, 51D, 58D. Uh, some odds and ends stuff. Military button, pretty nice uh, sterling silver ring. United States Navy pin. This is a Captain Midnight thing pin from Skelly's gas stations. A little spoon. One play dime, one Missouri State one mill tax token. The eighteen ninety British half penny. A merchant token. This one got us got me pretty excited when it came out of the ground. Nineteen thirty five Mexican five cent coin. Centavo. For some reason, three Chinese cash coins. And this was cool. The Knights of Pythias, 1910, 26th Annual Convention. It's in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That came out of the old one room school site. That was about all that was there. Uh, another advertising piece for white sewing machine. And then another cool piece, the copper clad prank club token. That was a really cool find, found at a one room school site. There's my pile of wheat pennies, about 53 of them, I guess it would be. And got some clads for spending money. I'll get that tumbled up and that $10.48 worth. That'll put some fresh batteries in the MX Sport for next season. 
And we'll go over to Dan. All right. Um, yeah, I'll start over with the, the lesser stuff and work my way up. I had a pile of clad there. I don't know how much it was. Um, I don't put batteries in my detector. Mine's are chargeable, <laughs> so I guess I'm good either way. But it sure ain't going to put a tank of fuel in the truck, I can tell you that. I had some miscellaneous odds and ends. I couldn't score a silver ring this year or gold ring. Um, had a few clad junkers there. Uh, another one that someplace I'm not sure where it's at right now. A couple of cars, a wrench for a, a brewing company, I think it was. Yep. Yeah, Minneapolis Brewing. Um, a toy gun, I think it was, or it was a single shot something or other. I'm not sure what it was. That pocket knife that was up in the latest video that uh, had some clean sides on it. Bell stem cover for a Model T. Uh, a few um, compacts. There unfortunately wasn't anything good inside them. Uh, interesting little triangular pin. At one time, I'm sure it looked very nice. The pile of wheat pennies up there. I only ended up getting two tokens this year. I had a palm olive token and a topic bar token. Had a couple of Canadian pennies, and, and I know they're not super old, but they're Canadian, so I, mm -hmm. I carded them anyway. 1943 and a 1947, and they ring up really good on my Equinox for some reason, those Canadian pennies. So, Canadian Relic Hunter, if you're uh, watching this, um, I'm sure your detector just screams when you find your Canadian pennies up there. They, they scream better than ours. Um, found one play money. I did cart a 1927D um, Weedy. I'll have to look see what that was worth. For some reason I carded that. And then we get into the Indians that I have. Had an 1880, 1896, 1897, 1899. 1901, a couple of those, and must have been a popular year because Poppy had a couple of them over there in his stack too. Um, so it must have been really popular. Got two 1902s, a 1903, 1904, and a 1907. So it was a pretty good run of Indians there. They aren't all in the best of shape because some of them we found in those those schoolyards that have been turned into fields, and that fertilizer and chemical just tears them up. Yep. But there adds to the collection at least. Um, three V nickels, an 1894, a 1901, and a 1906, and then I had six buffaloes, a 1920, a 29D, a 34, 35, 35D, and a 37, and, and like Poppy said, some of these uh, came out of the same yard. Um, <laughs> it was a good yard, without that yard. came out of the same hole. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> Um, without that, that yard this year, that's just the way it goes. It would have been pretty sad. Um, silver dimes for me this year, and an 1892, which tied my oldest um, with that barber dime, have not been able to get to the seeds. And you would sure think that we're pulling 1880 pennies, we would be able to find, because we get to 1891, you're in the seeds. Yep. So you would sure think that one of these years. Next year. All right, next year, we're, we're going to find one. <laughs> Um, 1920, 1942, a 42D, a 44, and a four, another 44, 45D, so that takes care of the Mercury's. And then we get into the Rosies, 54, and a pair of 59's. I had a pair of quarters as well. Um, I did end up with an SLQ, a 1919, and a 1935 Washington, and a rather nice silver pendant there. Uh, St. Christopher's, I believe it says on there. It's a, a religious uh, token that's silver, pretty good size. But again, no rings this year of real value. Poppy did have a silver ring over there. Um, and no halves. Next year, silver half and seated. I, I would sure. I'll make the call right now. All right. All right. Because <laughs> we're going to go at it hard. Um, as you, you probably noticed, we're missing one of our party here today. Uh, Mark is up with his family for the holidays, so uh, Poppy and I are doing the recording. A lot of times you'll see Mark um, from the Sundermeyer channel with us, so he's usually on board with us, but not today. So, But there's a roundup of the 2020 metal detecting finds. This is Dan and Poppy with 3D Outdoors, reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button at the bottom. See you next time.